Hi, this is Kishore Kumar. Today we are going to learn about the loop control statements in Python 3. This tutorial is for basic concepts only. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the loop control statements. Uh, in that, uh, what is the use of break and continue statements in Python? Next, we will learn uh, about these three control statements break, uh, continue, and pass statements. Loop control statements. The loop control statements change the execution from its normal sequence. When the execution leaves a scope, all automatic objects that were created in that scope are destroyed. Python supports the following control statements. These are the control statements break, continue and pass statement. The break statement is, it terminates the loop statement and uh, transfers execution to the statement immediately following the loop. Next, uh, the continuous statement causes the loop to skip the remainder of its body and immediately retest its condition prior to iterating. Finally, we will learn about the past, past statement. The past statement in Python is used when a statement is required syntactically but you do not want any command or code to execute. We will see all these statements step by step. Before that, we, are going, we will understand the use of the break and continue statements in Python. In Python, break and continue statements can alter the flow of a normal loop. Generally, Loops iterate over a block of code until the expression is false. But sometimes we wish to terminate the current iteration or even the whole loop without checking test expression. The break and continue statements are used in these cases. Now we will see break statement. The break statement is used for premature termination of the current loop. After abandoning the loop, execution of the next statement is resumed just like the traditional break statement in C. This is the syntax for the break statement break. And this is the flow diagram for the break statement. When the test expression falls, the loop will be exited. If the text expression becomes true, it goes to the next statement while encountering the break. If, if the break uh, occurs, it uh, exits the loops. If not encountered, the remaining body of the loop will be executed. We will see one example on the break statement how to use the break statement with uh, for loop iterating over a list. For that, uh, we will go, go to idle there. Now, we open one new file. Save it as a break one. We will search uh, a number from the given list. For example, the numbers is a variable name for the list. Just to and that's in. this is a list we will search the user input number from this list for that uh, we will take one air variable a this is used for 
obtaining an input from the user type any number okay now we use the break statement for that uh, using with the uh, for loop iteration for num in numbers if uh, num value equal to a a is the user input here then it print your number found in list break else print your number not found in list okay now we will check the program save it. before that we have to save it and run the module here it asks the input type any number for example you type 33 your number found in list see here the 33 is available in the list for example if you type uh, a number like this this 5 number not found in list 5 is not available in the numbers list like this the break statement can be used in both uh, while and for loops like this for war in this is the syntax for this while and for loops for war variable in sequence if condition here break and next one is course outside for loop similarly while test expression if condition break and this is the syntax we will see one example on this for and while loop using the break statement first uh, we will write for loop for letter in python okay for loop next so we will use while loop while loop okay before that we will write the inside loop statements for example if letter equal to h when the letter h iterates it breaks the for loop break print current letter letter here the break uh, statement terminates the loop the control of the program close to the statement 
immediately after the loop of the after the body of the loop it breaks and next it goes to the next statement the next statement is here while for that we will define one variable where where then for example variable if variable is greater than 0 print current variable current variable value next uh, it should be decrement minus 1 if variable value equal to 5 it gives break statement next print uh, good by Okay, now save the program and run the module. See here. Here, first, first loop is the for loop and second one is the while loop. We use it here. In for loop, we have given one string here, Python. In the body of the for loop, we have given nested loop it is nested loop if letter equal to h when h is encounter it breaks up to that it prints here current letter p y t the for loop iterates each and every string like this when the variable h encounters it it terminates the loop and next immediately it goes to the next uh, statement while here where when the variable value is greater than 0 it it, it uh, iterates like this 10 9 8 7 6 mm. variable is equal to variable minus 1 after 10 it becomes 9 when variable equal to 5 the loop will be terminates here also it terminates and it prints the next statement here like this next the continue statement the continue statement in python returns the control to the beginning of the current loop when continue statement encountered in a statement the loop starts next next iteration without executing the remaining statements in the current iteration the current the continue statement is used to skip the rest of the code inside a loop for the current iteration only loop loop does not terminate but continues on with the next iteration the continue statement can be used in both while and for loops the syntax here continue this is the syntax the continue statement continue this is the flowchart when the text expression becomes false the loop will be executed if the text expression is true it goes to the next statement there if the continue statement encounters if it is yes the loop will be repeated and if the continuous statement becomes false the remaining body of the loop will be executed we will see one example on this continuous statement for that we go to the statements
well in string if well equal to string value i in this program the continuous statement is used inside loops here we use continue print well print the end now we will save this one and on the module see here str ng the end if the string value is i not the i is not executing on the rest of the block see here if for val for val in string if value is equal to 1 it, the i will not execute but it continues the next iteration like this str n g i is not here printed here only it continues to the next iteration and finally after completing this iteration the next statement here it prints this is the use of the continuous statement in continuous statement also we can use this continuous statement with for loop and while loop this is the syntax for the continuous statement with for and while loops we will see one example on this in the, in the previous example just we simply change that break with continue just symbol here we will change this one variable 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 continue here continue now change now save it and run the module see here the continuous statement used in for loop and while loop in the past loop for loop we have taken the python string here when if the letter equals to value h it prints it will continue to the next statement pyt h is not here printed and remaining uh, letters will be printed here after completing this loop it goes to the next statement that is the while here here also we have taken variable 10 here uh, when uh, when variable 10 is greater than 0 it executes next uh, variable is equal to variable minus 1 so it first it prints in the number is 9 when it encounters 5 it passes to the next similar 9 8 7 6 here it is now printed 5 4 3 2 1 up till 0 like this and finally after completing this loop iteration it prints the next statement that is the goodbye here next uh, the past statement the, pa the past statement is used when a statement is required syntactically but you do not want any command or code to execute the past statement is a null operation nothing happens when it executes 
the past statement is also useful in places where your code will eventually go but has not been written yet the syntax for the past statement is pass we will see one example using the past statement for that we will go to this one for letter in uh, will python if letter is equal to h simply passes next it print uh, pass is used as a placeholder it is for future implementation of functions loops etc nothing happens when pass is executed it results into no operation we generally use it as a placeholder okay now we will save this program and on the module See here, PYT block. Here, the string Python iterates uh, using this for statement for loop. Here, when the letter H encounters the pass statement, this is a pass block. PYT, this is a pass block, will be printed here and next uh, remaining letters will be printed python just like this the that in python programming the difference between the comment and a pass statement is while the interpreter ignores the comment entirely but uh, pass is not ignored suppose we have a loop or a function that is not implemented yet but we want to implement it in future they cannot have an empty body the interpreter would complain so we use the pass statement to construct a body that does nothing we will see an example on this let us take one sequence set it is a set We'll use for loop for val in sequence just pass it now save this statement module just simply it passes the interpreter it does nothing here the pass statement does nothing here but it will be useful for the implementation of the future implementation our program so that for the implementation of the future statement we have to use the past statement why because we should not use it uh, empty body if you leave this uh, as empty body the interpreter will give an error says so we use the past statement to construct a body that does nothing we can do the same thing in an empty function or a class like this
for example a function defining function just uh, args see here now save it and run the module see here it simply pass the statement the interpreter not given any error here this is a valid uh, syntax for the past statement now we will write on class also here also it gives the same result see here it passes the class statement here also so the interpreter not uh, raises any error this is the valid syntax for the first statement okay friend so that pass is used as a placeholder for future implementation of functions loops etc okay friends in the next tutorial we are going to learn about the looping techniques in python 3 if you like these tutorials please subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you for watching friends please see this tutorial lesson available in pdf file i have given that link in the description please see and download it for further reading signing off kishore kumar vajah